Okay. Hello, my name is Sloane Moore and I'm studying concept art. A bit about me. I enjoy a wide range of activities. I'm a part of National Charity League, which is a charity organization that I've worked with for six years now. I also do martial arts and I'm a member of National Art Honor Society. But the majority of my focus is on art. I've taken pretty much every art class the school has to offer. And my first um, attempt to find a career path that utilized my artistic skills was taking two years of graphic design and illustration at the Kate Center. I quickly found out that, well not quickly, so I was there for two years, but I found out that it wasn't for me. I wanted uh, to do a career path that involved more creativity and creation and making logos and stuff was too focused and not enough um, creativity was involved in making them. So my quote is, I dream of painting and then I paint my dreams. I love getting what's in my head onto paper. And for my job in the future, I want to do the same for other people, get every, all their ideas out for everyone to see. So I'm studying concept art. Concept art is the visual development of ideas. It's used for a whole range of professions. They'll use them for set designs, fashion, costume designs, um, industrial design. Um, I met a artist who he had done concept art for theme parks and I'm focusing on concept art for the entertainment industry particularly gaming in the past couple years um, the gaming industry has grown in Dallas so there's lots of different game companies to look for comp concept artists in in game companies the concept artists they design the characters the creatures props environments vehicles levels traps anything that you see in a game they will sketch out and create the basic designs for. They also create look and feel pieces for when games are first trying to be pitched. They'll make a couple basic, not basic, um, a couple pieces of artwork to help the um, whoever's making the game show what it's going to be like in game support and making it. I interviewed six artists, four of whom were concept art artists. And the most interesting thing when interviewing them was that they would show me the whole de art department and I got to see how they worked with the rest of the team because it's not just one artist making all the designs, there's a whole bunch of them and they collaborate and split up work, but then they all work together to make the final pieces. When making concept art, most of the artists use Photoshop, which some of you may have used, was an extremely versatile program and allows artists to make um, artwork extremely efficiently and quickly. I have a quick video, oh wait, an example of artwork in Photoshop. This is a speed painting, which means they probably created it in under an hour and it's sped up so it's even faster. And they use brushes that the artist will make to get all the textures and they can move it around and add layers and switch things so that the end result they can create quickly and get exactly how they want. So as you can see, it's really fast, and because the program, you can do so much with it, they can create pretty much anything just with Photoshop, which makes it really, really useful. They can also, concept artists, also create artwork quickly by combining and manipulating existing images and photographs, which is called um, composite artwork. So rather than rendering them fully, which is painting everything with brushes, they'll overlay photos, change the colors, and move them around. And this picture is a pretty good example of it. Painting something like this would take hours, days, but 
the artist, he uses photographs to get all the details in. So the textures for trees, buildings, and rock, it's all photographs which he's cropped and moved around and overlaid and blended into the picture to make it a lot more detailed and convey what he wants in an easier way. Um, concept artists, they have to be able to produce lots of different ideas and designs. So they have to um, come up with tons of different things and they can be, they'll be asked to create anything. They don't specialize on one, um, on one thing. Like they don't do just plants and people. They have to be able to do creatures, environments, landscapes, items, vehicles, anything that could be asked of them, they have to have the skill to make. And the concept artists, they make tons of artworks for one game or one production. They will just do hundreds of different designs, but most of what they make is never even produced, so you have to be prepared to make tons of designs and then watch them get thrown away or changed. But a few of them are used, and that's the rewarding part. When concept artists make their artwork, they start out with thumbnail designs, which are really small, basic, quick designs, and they'll show a whole variation of ideas for one concept. From there, they'll with work with an art director who will pick the ones they like, and they'll combine the different designs to eventually get to a final product, which is pretty much exactly what you're going to see once it's animated and put into the game. The concept artists give their designs to 3D modelers who use programs like ZBrush to make 3D renderings of their designs. ZBrush is a really cool program in that it's basically like sculpting in clay on a computer. And then they add the colors and textures to get the final design image. And then they give those to the animators who put rigs into the 3D models and it works like a skeleton that they move to make the animation. And it's important for artists to know, the concept artists to know the whole process of animation because their design is the backbone of, backbone of it all. So I talked to one artist and while we were there he was showing me around. And we went to the animators and the animator was animating one of the designs he had created. But because of the way he had designed it, it wouldn't work for the animation, which means he'd have to go all the way back and redo the design. So concept artists, when they're working on their designs, they have to always think of how it's going to look from every angle, how it's going to move. It's not just drawing pretty pictures. It has to actually be efficient and work. After talking to the concept artists, the main thing that they all stressed is having a good portfolio. It's um, one of the most important things for an artist of any kind. It's like a resume for them, and it's what jobs will look at whenever they are um, hiring them. It showcases all their work, and you have to have your best work, but also a variety, because concept artists are required to draw such a wide range of things. So you have to show all the different styles and different things that you can draw. The concept artists, they have a um, trouble sometimes keeping their portfolios current because they'll get working on product projects that might not um, allow them to create the artwork that they need to keep in their portfolio. Like one of the artists I interviewed, he had been working on a game for two years, but it was really basic and childish, so he didn't have any portfolio quality work, which means in his portfolio he had a two-year gap with no work in it, and that was new. So whenever he tried to find another job, he had to make more pieces so that the companies hiring him could see um, that he had continued developing his skill and improving. And improvement and developing new skills so that you continue growing in your artwork is one of the biggest things that concept artists like focusing on. It's how you get to more companies, better opportunities, cooler games. And that's what I want to focus on this year in ISM. Thank you very much.